One of these guns is a Beretta. The other is a Daisy air-powered BB pistol. City police put them on display to make a point. Even Commissioner Kevin Davis took a closer look to tell the difference. The BB gun is what a 13-year-old boy held in his hand when two undercover officers spotted him walking with it in the 1100 block of East Baltimore Street. They ordered him to drop it, and when he didn't, one officer fired twice, striking the team in the shoulder and leg. If a person is seen walking down a, a city street with one of those in his hand, what do they want the police to do? What do they expect us to do? Drive by? We can't call 911. We are 911. The officer who shot the boy is Thomas Smith. Police say he and another officer identified themselves, and the boy took off, tossing the basketball he carried in one hand, keeping the replica in the other. 11 News talked exclusively with an eyewitness. Brian didn't want to give his last name. Police consider his account critical to their investigation. They were yelling from the drop the gun, drop the gun. The kid turns around in a motion like this, but the gun is going towards the up, not towards the police officers. And he, and he said, it's not real. I heard him yell, it's not real. And that quick, the male officer shot him twice. Police do not consider replica guns toys. They don't sell them at Toys R Us. They don't sell them at Lionel Kitty City. My point is you're not going to go to a children's store and find that gun. City ordinances prohibit minors from possessing a gas or air-powered pallet gun. The DAISY website says this model can't be sold to anyone under 16. The greater conversation really is uh, what does a, what is rather a 13-year-old doing with one of these in his hand. The commissioner also addressed community concerns about how officers treated the boy's mother. Emotions run high. So the fact that the police officers on the scene made a decision, a judgment call during a very volatile scenario uh, to temporarily restrain the mom with handcuffs. The mother was not charged. She was released. According to a family friend, the 13-year-old is a good kid, a good student at City Springs at Middle School. The friend says under the circumstances, he's doing okay in the hospital. The family has Billy Murphy as their lawyer now. Reporting live from East Baltimore, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.